The Humane Society of Sedona is located on Shelby Drive in Sedona. Open daily from 10 to 4, they offer adoptable dogs, cats, and rabbits, too. This Humane Society will host up to 1,000 animals a year. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Humane Society of Sedona online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This is Pooh. He is a four-year-old neutered male dash hound. He is very sweet and loving and great with other dogs. So he would do awesome in a home with dogs, possibly even cats. Um, this is Pooh. He is a four-year-old male neutered dash hound. This is Blitzen. She is a three-year-old female spade St. Bernard mix. Very sweet and very loving. Unsure if she does get along with other dogs and cats. She would be best suited in a home with a big yard. That way she can get out, run around, and play. This is Blitzen. She is a three-year-old female spade St. Bernard mix. This is Princess, she's a seven and a half year old female spade Rottweiler. Very sweet, very loving, does like other dogs, unsure about cats. And she would be best suited in a home without small children. This is Princess, seven and a half year old female Rottweiler. This is Lucy. She is a nine-year-old female spayed lab mix. She's very <coughs> affectionate. She's good with other dogs, loves to cuddle, loves to go on walks. She would benefit from uh, somebody who does have a yard since she is very energetic. This is Lucy, a nine-year-old female spayed lab mix. This is Boo Boo Biscuit, four-year-old neutered male. He is a Border Collie mix. Very sweet, very loving. Would be suited for a home with a bit large yard. Unsure if he does get along with other cats or dogs. This is Boo Boo Biscuit. He is a four-year-old neutered male. She is a two and a half year old spaniel mix. She is a spayed female, great with other dogs, very friendly. She's also a little bit shy, so she takes some warming up too, but she is super, super sweet. Loves to cuddle and play outside, so she would do great in a home with a big yard, other dogs, she's good around kids. This is Cinnamon, she is a two and a half year old mix spaniel. <laughs>
After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. At Gettle's High Desert Mechanical, rather than do lots of things, we focus on doing one thing right. We serve climate challenged people. Gettle starts with a free system evaluation to identify the best AC and heating equipment for your home or business. Professional installation, warranties, and service after the sale. If you're climate challenged, then we're the right choice. Gettle's High Desert Mechanical, the name to trust. Wake up and live moss at your local Cottonwood Taco Bell. The next generation of breakfast is here, introducing the Waffle Taco, AM Crunch Wrap, Cinnabon Delights, and fresh brewed 100% Colombian coffee. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on Highway 89A and Cope Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, live moss. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Rudy Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Rudy Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Rudy Veterinary Hospital. This is Charlotte. She is a four-year-old spayed female terrier mix. Very sweet, very loving. Does get along with other cats and dogs. <coughs> Be best suited in a home for an older couple. This is Charlotte. She is a four-year-old female spayed terrier mix. Does like other cats and dogs. This is Layla. She's a three-month-old spayed female border collie puppy. She is going to be required to a lot of training. <clears throat> she is very sweet and cuddly. Very typical puppy. This is Layla, three-month-old spayed female border collie puppy. She is going to require some training. This is Skipper. He is a one-year-old neutered male. He is a Dalmatian lab mix. Can be a little shy and timid at first, but once he gets to know you, he's a big couch potato, loves to cuddle, doesn't like other dogs very well, unsure about cats and unsure about children. And he would probably be best suited for somebody, only dog, with a yard. And this is Skipper. He's a two-year-old male Dalmatian Labrador mix. This is Delilah. She's a three month old spayed female border collie puppy. She is going to require some training. She is that typical puppy. Loves to play and loves to cuddle and would be best <coughs> suited with a family that has a yard. This is Delilah, three month old spayed female. This 
this is Nikki. She is a two-year-old female spayed Staffordshire Terrier. Very sweet, very loving, has lived with other dogs and cats along with children. Loves to give kisses. This is <coughs> Nikki, two-year-old female spayed Staffordshire Terrier. This is Dewey. He is a 12-year-old neutered male Chihuahua. When he came to us here at the Humane Society, he did have a couple oral issues, and as a result of that, um, he no longer has any teeth, so he's still very healthy. He just is going to need a special diet of soft food only, and he would do awesome in a house with other smaller dogs or as the only dog. He loves to cuddle and hang out with his owner. He does like to go on walks as well, and he enjoys the dog park. And he is a 12-year-old neutered male chihuahua. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Wake up and live moss at your local Cottonwood Taco Bell. The next generation of breakfast is here, introducing the Waffle Taco, AM Crunch Wrap, Cinnabon Delights, and fresh brewed 100% Colombian coffee. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on Highway 89A and Coke Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. Headaches and back pain are two of the top reasons people choose Mozing Chiropractic. Dr. Mozing also treats symptoms of numbness and tingling, as well as those injured in auto or work accidents. Dr. Mozing uses gentle chiropractic techniques, as well as electric muscle stim and cold laser therapies. Call Dr. Mozing today at 634-0733. No spine left behind at Mozing Chiropractic. This is Lucci. He's an eight-year-old Siamese neutered male. He's very talkative and loves people and attention. Probably better in a home with somebody that's going to be able to give him a lot of attention. Spend some time with him. Very cuddly. He's on a soft food diet because he's missing a few of his teeth. This is Draco. He's a year and a half old neutered male, domestic short hair. Can be very sweet and very loving. He also likes his independence. He'd be best suited in a home as an only cat with an older couple. This is Draco, year and a half old 
neutered male domestic short hair. This is Mace. He is an eight-year-old male neutered Siamese cat. Very sweet, very loving. He is declawed in the front, still has his rear claws, and he would be best suited for a home with, for an older couple. This is Mace, eight-year-old neutered male Siamese cat. This is Jack, two-year-old neutered male, domestic short hair, does get along with other cats, unsure about dogs. This is Jack, he's a two-year-old neutered male. This is Tarny. He is a two month old neutered male domestic long hair cat. Very sweet, very loving. <clears throat> does like other cats, but does not like other dogs. Because of his age, he is very playful. And a lot of the dogs don't like that. <clears throat> this is Tarny. He is a two month old neutered male domestic long hair. This is Tink. She's a one-year-old domestic short hair, spayed. She's great with other cats. Very playful. Likes to get up and go. Probably be better in an active home where maybe some kids are she can play with. And she'll have that attention she needs for her age. This is Tink. She's a one-year-old domestic short hair, spayed female. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Wake up and live Moss at your local Cottonwood Taco Bell. The next generation of breakfast is here. Introducing the Waffle Taco, AM Crunch Wrap, Cinnabon Delights, 
and fresh brewed 100% Colombian coffee. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on Highway 89A and Cope Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. This is Jax, a one-year-old domestic short hair. Does great with other cats. Probably better in a home where somebody's going to be able to give him the attention he needs. He likes to cuddle up and be loved. This is Jax, a one-year-old domestic short hair. This is Mojo, two-month-old neutered male, domestic short hair. He is the typical kitten, loves to play, very sweet and loving, and would be best suited for a home of all ages. This is Frost, she is a two-year-old spayed female domestic short hair, very sweet, very loving. She was born with a birth defect that causes her eyes not to develop very large. She does have a little bit of vision problems, but that doesn't stop her from playing and getting around and having a good time. This is Frost, she is a two-year-old spayed female. This is Patches. She is a nine-year-old spayed female domestic short hair calico cat. She loves to take long naps in her basket all day and relax. She was surrendered from her owner here. This is Patches. She is a nine-year-old spayed female domestic short hair calico cat. This is Marmalade. He is about four years old. He's a domestic short haired male neutered cat. He's very calm and curious, as you can tell. Um, I catch him napping in the window all the time, so he's also calm and gentle. Um, he'd probably do good in a more mature home. Um, let's see. He's very, very gentle and curious. And this is Marmalade. This is Ashes. She is a spayed female domestic short hair black cat who is three years and one month old. She came in with her sisters here at the shelter, so she is great around other cats and would do well with other cats at home. She's very social and loves to play in her kennel all day long. This is Ashes. She is a three-year-old spayed female domestic short hair. She is ready to go to her forever home. After the break, we'll visit with the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Wake up and live moss at your local Cottonwood Taco Bell. The next generation of breakfast is here, introducing the Waffle Taco. 
AM Crunch Wrap, Cinnabon Delights, and fresh brewed 100% Colombian coffee. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. At Gettles High Desert Mechanical, rather than do lots of things, we focus on doing one thing right. We serve climate challenge people. Gettles starts with a free system evaluation to identify the best AC and heating equipment for your home or business. Professional installation, warranties, and service after the sale. If you're climate challenged, then we're the right choice. Gettles High Desert Mechanical, the name to trust. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. The Adopt for Life Center for Animals is located on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood, open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. They offer many adoptable dogs and cats. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This is Dickens. He's a six-month-old male Roddy mix. He loves people and he loves other dogs. He plays with them in the courtyard and he's pretty good on the leash. He needs a little bit more training, but in time he should get better at it. And um, he's just a really, really sweet dog and he wants you to come visit him today. So yeah, again, this is Dickens and he's a six month old Roddy mixed male. This is Mary, as in Merry Christmas, and this is a female Chow Shepherd mix. She came to Adopt for Life um, about a week ago, and she's a, she's a wonderful dog. Um, I just had her out in the leash, very gentle. You can see this cute little foxy face, and she really is a family dog, loves kids, and um, again, a Shepherd Chow mix, female and very soft. I'll put her down here, you can see. Very quiet and gentle. This is Mary. It's a beautiful family dog. This is Queenie. She's a lab mix and she's six years old and she's a female. Um, she is good on the leash. 
She enjoys attention and she gives lots of kisses. And she reminds me of a lady, prim and proper and very, uh, very sweet. So if you could please come see her today, that would be great. Her name's Queenie and she's a lab mix, six years old female. This beautiful guy is Grover. <clears throat> Grover is a two to three year old uh, mix, you know, has some pit bull in him, obviously, as you can look at him. He's just a wonderful guy. He is so friendly, just loves humans, loves to give you big licks and kisses all the time. He's got some really mad skills. He knows how to sit, he knows how to lay, he knows how to stay, he knows how to come. <clears throat> we're working on giving, giving me his belly, which he'll roll over and give you his belly. And we're also working on uh, a wait and a release command for going in and out of gates and doors and things. And he's about 80 to 90 percent on those commands. Um, he is extremely smart. Most of that stuff I taught him in a matter of two or three days. Um, he's absolutely great on walks. He'll stay right with you. He doesn't pull at all. Um, probably the worst problem you'll have with him on walks is he likes to get close to you and he'll kind of weave in front of you a little bit. <clears throat> so you have to watch that you don't get your feet tangled up with him. But he's just a great, great guy. He's just so friendly, um, pretty easy going. Uh, he has a high activity level and he can climb a little bit. So um, you're gonna need a, a yard with a fence for him. And it's gonna have to be a fairly high fence uh, if you're gonna leave him out there for any period of time. As you see right now, he's also a very curious dog. Um, he's very aware of his surroundings and um, very interested in everything that's happening. Uh, but all in all, just a great guy, and he's really, really a beautiful dog. Lots of poise to him when he walks. He just kind of struts, and uh, just a great, great guy. And this, again, is my good friend Grover, and he's about a two- to three-year-old pit bull mix, black and white, and extremely smart. Sit. Down. Belly. December. He's a three-year-old Chihuahua mix male and he's very outgoing. He loves to kiss people. He's great with other dogs. Um, he wears a harness when he walks it's just because it's easier to walk him on the harness. But he's a really great dog and he'd really like it if you'd come and visit him. So um, again this is December and he is a three-year-old Chihuahua mix male. Hopper. He's a two-year-old male pit, Mastiff Pit Mix, and he's a very sweet boy, but he's very strong. He needs somebody who can handle a strong dog to walk, but he's a really, really, really loving dog. Uh, he's a little bit shy, but once you get to know him, he'll, I'm sure he'll warm up. And so, yeah, this is Hopper. He's a male two-year-old Mastiff Pit Mix. Come see him today. This is River. River's been with Adopt for Life for about a month. And this is a Chow mix. He uh, is a male and he uh, is very energetic, um, loves to run. And um, we need a family where he can be outside and uh, playing and running, uh, either in an outdoor pen area or preferably um, out free someplace where he really can run. Um, 
he, um, you can see he's very calm when he's sitting. And he's fascinated with a cat in the room here. Um, he does well with other dogs. I've noticed in walking dogs here that um, he's very mellow in the cage when I go walk by with a dog that's going out for a walk. And this is pretty unusual because dogs can be nervous when they're in a cage and such, and he is very calm. So I believe he, he would do well with other pets. If you have another dog, he would probably do very well. Um, again, very energetic, really needs to run, move around, and uh, could use some leash training. Um, he tends to kind of meander like a river when you got him on a leash, and, um, but he is really a beautiful dog. Say hi. guy here is Oreo. Oreo's an active boy, loves to go out and play and stuff. He, um, he's a little bit tentative around other animals, so I would probably suggest if you're going to adopt him that maybe he be the only pet in the home. And another reason that it might be a, a, a good thing is he, he tends to bond with one person. He's not a, he may not be a great family dog, but he'd be really good for an individual. So you almost have to test it out a little bit. But all in all, he's really good along those lines and uh, very friendly. Um, got kind of a, a strong prey instinct. If he's out on his walks, uh, he sees anything move, he wants to go after it. So um, I would definitely think cats would be a no-no for him. I don't see him living with cats uh, and probably other you know, small animals. You know, If you're thinking of a farm environment, chickens or things like that, he may not be a real good choice for you. Other than that though, he's, he's a really a really good dog. Um, he's been here for quite a while. He's been here since March. So we're kind of anxious to find a good home for him. Um, we don't like to keep our pets here that long. So uh, anyway, if you think you got the right home for him, if you got a lot of love to give, he's got a lot of love to give back. He's just a real good guy. Yes, he is. And this is my buddy Oreo. Brownie. Um, she's a two-year-old terrier mix, female. Um, she loves, loves people. She's very social. She loves to give kisses and she's great with other dogs. She plays with a lot of other dogs. Um, she's friends with December in particular and she's also in a kennel with another dog. So um, yeah, so she's great with other animals. And, other dogs and yeah she'd like for you to come see her. This is Brownie and she's a two-year-old female terrier mix. This is Dice. He's a two-year-old pug mix, male. He enjoys affection and he loves giving kisses as well. He's easy on walks and he is good with other dogs and cats. He loves older children um, and he's just an all-around really good guy. So he would love to see you. Um, stop by and visit him. His name's Dice and he is a male pug mix, two years old. Brewster, he's a, he's a boxer mix, male, two years old. He was found as a stray and he's really, really, really sweet. He'd make a great family dog. As you can tell, he loves to kiss. 
and he's just really awesome. He does have a medium energy level, um, probably a fenced yard would be best, but he's a really good dog. He'd love for you to come and visit him today. This is Brewster. He's a boxer mix, two years old male. Hudson. He's a two-year-old male shepherd mix. He loves attention and he gives attention and he's great with kids. Come here Hudson. Yeah. He's great with kids and he's easy to walk and he would love if you'd come visit him. So again, this is Hudson, two-year-old male shepherd mix. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Aww. You should pick that up. <laughs> oh, you're such a dork. Loser. Here, let me help you with that. Oops. <laughs> Every day, kids witness bullying. Oh, look. Your crush is looking at you. Poor you. <laughs> They want to help, but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you. because no one Teach your you. kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. Wake up and live moss at your local Cottonwood Taco Bell. The next generation of breakfast is here. Introducing the Waffle Taco, AM Crunch Wrap, Cinnabon Delights, and fresh brewed 100% Colombian coffee. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on Highway 89A and Cope Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell. Live Moss. Headaches and back pain are two of the top reasons people choose Mozing Chiropractic. Dr. Mozing also treats symptoms of numbness and tingling, as well as those injured in auto or work accidents. Dr. Mozing uses gentle chiropractic techniques, as well as electric muscle stim and cold laser therapies. Call Dr. Mozing today at 634-0733. No spine left behind at Mozing Chiropractic. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. I would like to introduce Duke. Duke is 10 years old. He's a beautiful Siamese, a very loving personality. Uh, he was surrendered and he also has um, a female called Duchess and they were surrendered, the person had to go to assistant living. So we would love to adopt Duke and Duchess out together. They just arrived this week, and they're very loving, big, and absolutely beautiful. This is Duke.
This is Chip. She's about eight months old. She's our resident beauty queen for obvious reasons. <laughs> She's very friendly, very lovable, and usually pretty calm. Long hair, so she's going to take some brushing, but she loves it. Chips also needs special food to the degree that she can't tolerate a lot of gluten. Uh, this special food is not expensive. It's available in a number of stores here in the Verde Valley. Doesn't uh, really, you know, cause too much of a problem for anybody, but she does need it to be healthy. Chip's about eight months old. And like I said, she's our resident beauty queen. She'd love to come home and be one at your house. I would like to introduce Robin. Robin is a six-month-old male orange tabby. He is very, very playful. He's in the teen room that we have here for the teenage kitty cats. Um, he plays well with others. And we also have two other yellow kitties back there, but he is an orange tabby with big, beautiful yellow eyes. And he would like to find a forever home and then also if you would like to have two, we have two more just like him. This is Robin. I would like to introduce Twinkie. Twinkie is two years old. She's a Siamese mix. She has beautiful blue eyes, beautiful markings. She's uh, very playful. She's very vocal. This morning when I got here, she's got her paws sticking out of the cage, like feed me, love me, talk to me. And uh, she likes to play with toys. And she's like really rambunctious this morning because say it's morning time when I come and uh, play with her in the evening. She's not quite as rambunctious as she is now. And Twinkie would like to find a forever home. She was transferred in here from the Verde Valley and um, she is beautiful, very sweet, very lucky. This is Twinkie. like to introduce Mint. Mint is a one-year-old black female. She's been spayed. She's very playful. She can be very talkative. She's inquisitive and she would be a wonderful addition to any home. She would love to find a forever home and she's very gentle. Like I'm not even having to restrain her and she's just very happy being a lap kitty right now. This is Mint. Sebastian. We call him the shadow because when you've got him in the playroom and you walk around he's right behind you. Sebastian's about seven months old, very sweet, gets along with everybody, would probably get along even with younger children. This is Sebastian, seven months old. I'd like to introduce Ace. Ace is a six month old black short haired kitty. He's got a little white on his tummy. He is very active. He is very talkative. 
When we come in, he's always the first to greet us. He's got his paw hanging out of the cage. And it's like, look at me, look at me. And he plays well. He, he plays, I think, well with others since he's still a kitten. And he has beautiful gold eyes and he's looking for a forever home. Macbeth. He's about a year old. He's a tabby. I call him a bronze tabby. He's very shiny. He's very lovable. He'd get along with anybody of any age, I think, as long as you let him sit in your lap and give him lots of pets. No special needs for him. He's uh, an all-around, all-American healthy cat. He's Macbeth, and he's a year old, and he's waiting to come home. This is Twiggy. She's about eight, nine months old, black, obviously, female, bundle of energy. She loves to play. She's quite vocal. She's strangely silent this morning, probably because she's on TV. She likes other cats. She would do well with children. And she's looking for her forever home again. Twiggy, about eight, nine months old, female, and would be a fine addition to anyone's home. like to introduce Skittles. She's a beautiful calico with gold eyes. She's been with us now for a few months. She loves to play. She's a feather duster cat. She likes to play with the feathers. Um, she is very, very loving. She's um, two years old. She was a transfer in. And She's, of course, being rambunctious. She wants to get down right now, but she's a very loving cat, and this is Skittles. I would like to introduce Frosty. She is a three month old, long haired. She is beautifully, her fur is um, gray and black and she does look like she is totally a Frosty. She plays with her siblings. So if you would like to have two, we have some of her siblings and she has gold eyes. And she's very, very playful and she purrs a lot. This is Frosty. This is Ashley. She's four months old. She's a little short hair, black and white. She's very calm. She does well with other cats, but she's a little shy. Uh, this cat would be really happy to be with a more mature family where she could just do a lot of lap sitting and loving. And that's Ashley, four months old, American short hair. I'd like to introduce Smokey. 
Smokey is four years old. She's a long-haired gray kitty, um, big gold eyes. She's been with us now for a few months. She is the type of cat that loves to be groomed. Now, she's not much of a player, but she, you can hold her and she will let you brush her and groom her. So I really enjoy my visit with Smokey because she's just so angelic with her big gold eyes and her beautiful gray hair. And she's been somebody's lap kitty before because of her disposition. This is Smokey, four years old, and she would like to find a forever home. like to introduce Ava. Ava is an eight-month-old tabby. She has a very sweet personality. She likes to play. She's very inquisitive. And she was a drop-off drop -off up here at our shelter. Uh, she would make a fine addition to any home. And she is really uh, very sweet, a little active right now. But this is Ava. to introduce Jolly. Jolly is a six-year-old female torty. She's being very inquisitive right now. She's um, very playful, very sweet. Um, she's just staring around and looking. Um, she's been with us just a short time and she would love to find a forever home. This is Jolly, six-year-old female torty. This is Taffy. Taffy's very boisterous. She's a one-year-old female. She's gray and white. She has a blue eye and a yellow eye, and she has a three-quarters tail. She's very unusual. She's very curious. She's looking around, and she plays well with others. She's in the teen kitty room. This is Taffy. All animals leaving the Adopt for Life Center for Animals are given rabies vaccinations that are spayed or neutered. If the animal is not old enough, vouchers will be given to the adopted family. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood to visit with any of the animals seen on this program. More pets are waiting for new homes at the Adopt for Life Center for Animals.